Hello Susie. Kept meaning to do this video for a long while now. I'm terribly sorry, but uh I think that's how life is. Um but yes, you have it's a weird problem, you know. Uh I have a bit of experience from it. Uh, I think my ex wife's sister had the problem and uh actually she was my girlfriend for a short period, uh so I know what's it all about um yeah i think you have one advantage i think you you you're an extremely intelligent person and uh i think you can i do believe you can get yourself out of it if you tackle it at a different angle basically i think if you if you travel too deep within it then uh it'll be a part of you and uh and uh, I don't think you would want to be in that road down that road basically I feel like there is too few choices uh, in my sister in law's case she happened to find found someone that uh, would chaperone her for the rest of her life you know because uh and those sort of guys are very few this world he he's got an extremely wonderful persona and he she comes before everything in this world to him and these people are extremely rare and and I think and I don't think you would want that anyway I think you're you're in too intelligent to go down that road I do believe that you can find your own way and out of this road um I think the way I look at it is you you need to look at your life as as your program per day it's like a a twelve inch record you know somewhere along this line in this twelve inch record every day there is a little bleep or twitch in it it's all down to your persona basically you know like most of us when we we come across a, a, a problem that we can't sort or you know it it throws us into chaos some people lose their temper some people uh, would hit back and return some people would lash out and hurt other people or even kill other people but with your particular type of persona uh, somehow there is a um, subliminal message in that groove you know like it's a difficult area to pass because uh, most people you know persona uh, basically um, govern this area which way are they going to go but in, in people with your type of persona they self-harming which is sad because um, I feel that um, there must be an answer to it. Uh, the only way I can see it is that uh, to recognize it for it is that you know this subliminal message is coming true that is telling you to to react in this form. And it's to know and recognize that message. You know, it's like uh, this 12 inches playing throughout your day. And it's to program your whole psychology to recognize this uh, message and uh, set all your alarm clocks going. And uh, it's to, in a sense, um, undermine that particular message I know you're probably being intelligent as you are you've probably gone down the road trying to find a million ways to overcome it but um, but it's a difficult one you know but uh, I do feel that you're you're intelligent enough to to realize and start to learn to recognize this message that is coming through and that is the message that is going to hold you back from everything you 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 you're capable of achieving, you know, and I and I I feel that uh, personally that um, 
it's all down to persona and this particular type of um, problem that's why I think you you know you I think people trying to treat uh, individuals with this problem can you know give up on them because uh, it seems like they are knocking their head against the wall but but nevertheless um, I think you need to look at it as um, your day as a 12 inch record you traveling down this groove and you know within the problem that you have is somewhere there is this twitch you know that uh there would when it happens it throws you into this situation where you self-harming yourself and um so you need to be geared up for it basically and uh, to realize that um that you have you know you got to have a a a a, a sort of a goal you know that um that you can achieve wonders basically with your ability you have you you can either get stuck here involved with this problem forever or you could you know gear yourself up and you're at war with this message that is coming through and uh because it would uh, prevent you from achieving your goals which you are definitely capable of you you know uh, uh, you're, you're far more intelligent than my sister-in-law and she's managed to live through it and uh, and coping pretty well but uh but there again you see she she's undermined her situation through a sh chaperone but i don't think you know the thing is the world is not built that way we know you not we're not going to find a partner or a husband that is going to be a chaperone for life and i think because the you know the intelligent person you are i do feel that you know you you have you know a great horizon in front of you and i feel that it's it's sad to think that your capabilities and your abilities to allow this little bleach you know a little bleep message you know to 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 that be your downfall you know and uh i think you just need to to set these alarm bells you know stop at the minute you're doing it and realize this this is my life you know and uh i need to bring this to an end you know and move on basically i think a lot of it could could help a lot if you you know if you you settle down with someone that you you know you you love but uh but there again this will work against you because there's very very few men in this world who want to be a chaperone to you for life so it's 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 a obstacle that you you need to overcome you know and I and I I think that you need to gear up your whole mind instead of writing books and but the problem I think you need to gear up your whole mind and into this particular bleep that is putting you is setting off this um, behavior pattern because um, you know you in some ways it's it's a it's a nice pattern the world loves you rather than to you, you going around smashing the house up or beating somebody up you know but uh but it's it's a uh, it's a point against you basically and uh you're not harming anybody but yourself and i i feel that you really need to keep an eye on the grooves and recognize these little message when it comes true that um, you either achieve it in this world or you don't and uh, you're not going to achieve it by allowing this type of uh, psychology to to undermine you you need to get over this hurdle and you need to drop everything else and gear your mind 
to jump this hurdle and I think you can because uh, I think one of the reasons why you you you're stuck and accept this little bleep on that groove is that you have it's like a company it's like an uh, uh, a plaster that you put over this um, area because being a nice person you don't want to hit out at anybody and what not so you hit out at yourself I think if you if you want to hit out at anything you need to hit out and create a dream of what you could achieve and the type of mentality you could uh, build upon on, on you know making this world a decent place and getting involved uh, with with things that are much more important in life than letting uh, this little bleep undermine you I just think that you you definitely you should learn to recognize this little message that is coming true and make it your enemy you know and but tackle it in a, a logical way and realize that um, that it is your weakness in life look at it as your weakness and you're not going to let it take you down that road forever take care I thought I had this in if you think um, you're going to get help from psychiatrists psychologists psychoanalysts and, and the rest of them I don't think so somehow I think when I, the way I look at things is you know when you look at young students going to university you know they, they're given a pack of books to read and uh, analyze it and and then the certain period so many years six years or seven years into their studies they're, they're given exams and they pass these exams of what is in these books that they read I've helped uh, psychologist students out and when I see the sort of a uh, quality of humans that go after this type of career uh, it dawns on me that uh, that you know we we're, we're made out to believe that uh you know you got doctors and psychiatrists and all these people like um they go and study but when you look at it you know if you look at history you know like all these books 40 years ago that you know ordinary people you know your doctor you go running about with him used to pay him a lot of money for but all that books that they studied you could have picked up the whole lot of them and threw them in the bin today and to think that the people at that time believed in them everything they said you know and what about the patients that they treated you know uh, if everything what they've learned was a load of crap uh, how did the patients survive you know so I think there's a uh, there's something to look into that. Um, I think if it's a, a witch doctor you're looking for to, to sort out your problems, I um, think there's no better than yourself. You know, I think, especially with you, you I think you're intelligent enough to make your own assessments um, that nobody knows this individual, Susie, better than Susie. You know, she knows what time she you know what time she goes to bed what time she gets up what she likes to eat and um you know her tantrums that she throws and um uh, her rebellic ways all these things you know it much better than any psychologist or psychiatrist will ever know you know and what you're really saying is you put your total fate in this bunch of books that our present psychologists and psychiatrists read today, you know, and we know, like in forty years down the line, we could throw all that bunch of books in the bin and all. <laughs> so now I think um, most of this problem, especially with the mind, uh, there's no better person to undermine it than yourself. You need help and you need guidance, but um, I think there's very few good psychiatrists and psych 
psychologists out there today that are uh, that would you know that would be able you you're looking basically for a needle in a haystack you know it's like when you go to you know when these individuals uh, go to university and want to be a psychologist or psychiatrist or, or doctor they don't you know uh, scrutinize his persona to see you know is he a creator but um now uh, they just give him a bunch of books to read and uh, when the examination come up and as long as he he answers all what that is in that book and uh, ma managed to put and two 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 and two together then then he's all right you know the 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 rulers or the gods uh, will give him this uh, title you know psychiatrists doctors and when he spend his time over the years you know he becomes a consultant but um but I think there is, there is no better person to help you than yourself you know because I don't think there's anybody in this world knows Susie better than Susie anyway um, I'm sure you you know you've got it in you to achieve much better much brighter future than to be stuck in this horrible groove oh this little twitch um, not even a uh, whole groove that is bad it is just a little twitch that uh, you just got to be aware of these little nasties and think of what you're gonna put on the other end of the scale you know this little nasty on one end of the scale and you know you got a whole person to put on the other end of the scale you know how could you allow this little twitch to get the better of you anyway take care and uh, all the best